Hi, and welcome to our channel, The Travel Boss. Today in this video, we'll talk about the top 10 things to do in Limassol. Limassol is the most southern town in Europe. It's a place for tourists to stay in Cyprus, where they can enjoy the simple pleasures of life in the Mediterranean. There are clean beaches with sand, and the climate is helped by the Trudos Mountains to the north. You can also go to friendly tavernas to eat delicious meas and drink great wine from the area. But before we start our countdown, please subscribe to our channel, The Travel Boss, and also tell us what is your favorite thing to do in Limassol in comments. Number 10. Limassol District Archaeological Museum. This museum is related to Limassol Castle and tells the story of the history and growth of civilization in Cyprus from the beginning of time until the end of the Roman era. A lot of the late Bronze Age, Hellenistic, and Roman items on display were found at digs in Cornea and Amathus, which are only a few kilometers away. A pair of fancy wine cups in the shape of animals and a sculpture of the Roman god Bees are two of the most interesting pieces. Number 9. Sanctuary of Apollo. This temple complex is a couple of kilometers west of the old city of Corian. It was once the most important religious site on the whole island. From about 700 BC to 300 AD, people from all over the island came here to worship Apollo as the god of the island's forests. There are still a lot of pieces of the sanctuary, like a part of the temple's wall and portico, stairs, columns, a monument where parades or dances would have happened, and buildings outside where visitors would have stayed. Number 8. Oleostro Olive Park and Museum Olives and olive oil are important parts of Cypriot and Mediterranean food, so this olive press and museum is the best way to learn about local food culture. Oleostro makes the most olive oil on the island, but only from the Koronaki cultivar. Here, guides and displays will tell you about the whole process, from the soil to the bottle. Number 7. Tuck into a Mies. In Cyprus, a Mies is a great way to try many of the country's best dishes at once. Instead of an appetizer like tapas, a Mies in Limassol is a sit-down meal with many small courses. It will start with olives, then move on to dips like hummus, then grilled vegetables, calamari and halloumi, and then, depending on your choice, roasted meat or fish. Number 6. Colossi Castle. This fortress is a few kilometers west of Limassol and on a bus route. It is definitely worth the extra trip. After taking over the island, the English King Richard the Lionheart married Berengaria of Navarre on this spot in 1191. The Knights Hospitaller built the castle in the 13th century, and over the next few hundred years, the rival Knights Templar took over the building. Today, all that is left is a small keep, a large rectangular courtyard, a well, and the ruins of a sugar factory, which was the main business in the area back in the Middle Ages. Number 5. Limassol Castle Limassol's castle is a strong presence in the old town. Its history is similar to that of many other defensive buildings in Cyprus. It was built by the Lusignans during the Crusades. In its foundations, Archaeologists have found both a Byzantine fortress and a basilica. The Genoese and the Mamluk Sultanate from Cairo both tried to attack the castle before the Ottomans took over the island in the 16th century and made it stronger. Today, Limassol Castle has a display of coins, weapons, and pottery from different times in the town's history. Number 4. Fasori Watermania Fasori is one of the best water parks in Cyprus. It will take you a whole day to see everything there, and kids will love it. Fasuri has a Polynesian theme and is 100,000 square meters big. It has slides, pools, restaurants, and other things to do. There are 22 different things to do, from the fast kamikaze slide for older kids and adults to the kiddie pool for little kids. Adults can take a load off by getting a massage at the spa on site or spending the afternoon on a sunbed. Number 3. Acti Olympian Limassol's best city beach is Acti Olympian, which is partly backed by Molos. This blue flag bay is the easy way to spend a few hours by the Mediterranean. 
it has everything you need. From sun loungers and sunshades to cafes right on the water. You can take public transportation here, and lots of shops are just a short walk away. Number 2. Molos. Molos is a beautiful seaside park that runs from the old port to the zoo. It is between the city and the sea, and is more than just a promenade. Molos turns a walk along the beach into an art form by adding playgrounds, rows of palm trees, cafes, benches, water features, lawns, and sculptures. Locals of Limassol come to Molos on Sundays for a stroll with their families. If you want, you can rent a bike for a few hours and ride along this upscale part of the city's waterfront. Number 1. Kurian. This UNESCO-protected archaeology park is just west of Limassol. It has 6,000 years of history. During the time of the Romans, the city of Kurian was at its best. Pliny the Elder and Ptolemy wrote about it at the time. Most of Kurian's remains are from this time, and there is a lot to see. Most of the theater's steps are still there, and both the house and baths of Eustolios have beautiful mosaics. So these are the top 10 best things to do in Limassol. Do you agree with our list and think that visiting Corian is the best thing to do in Limassol? Share your views in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel The Travel Boss. Thanks for watching.